St. Augustine Health Ministries is a community of support. There are people of faith here, regardless of what their faith is. To be able to walk next to people going through life um, is, is just a God-given experience. I feel that we are giving holistic care. That's why it's important that I'm here and being a part of that mission. I have a choice. And because of the kind of sensitivity and treatment, I requested to come here. We want to create a support environment that's much like your family through all the services that we provide. The nursing home here at St. Augustine Manor, rehabilitation services, long-term care services, and then hospice at Holy Family, both inpatient and in the community. Here at Holy Family, in combination with what St. Augustine Healthcare Ministries offers, we provide community hospice services to the community at large in assisted living facilities, nursing homes, a patient's own residence, the hospice inpatient unit here. We have every aspect of care that a patient and family could need to meet their needs. I mean, we are a larger system, but we function and treat the families and treat the patients like we're small what people want out of our care at all levels is different and we actually listen i think that's what makes us special once they are in our family if they choose to they can remain in our family and have continuous care and we will know that patient extremely well because it'll be the same family taking care of them and that's very important. St. Augustine has evolved over the years, really being there for whatever need is present. We look at people in a unique individual basis without any qualifications, incorporating people into a family setting that's very purpose-driven, support-driven, and looks at the unique qualities of the people that we serve, and they're unqualified in terms of the way we, we do business. It feels like home, and the people here are just so kind. We are family first, a community second, and we're in the business of living. No matter what you know, color, where you come from, what your economic status is, you're going to be welcomed with open arms. It does come down to you know, reaching out your hand to somebody else that needs you and lifting them up, and, and I think that that is practiced on a daily basis here. We try to meet the needs of all the people in the greater Cleveland area. We specifically try to reach the needs of those that are marginalized, those that may be vulnerable in our community, that may not be able to seek care and services elsewhere. That's where that support from the community is so important. We do get a number of people that have used all their resources and are told, like, we can't help you anymore. The thought of even ever saying that to somebody, to me, is just, I couldn't do it. We are always looking for ways to continue our ministry, being where we're needed the most. We just continue to evolve and, and be where the need is.